This is Scott the Fix-It Guy. Today we're dealing with a Maytag gas dryer that doesn't seem to turn off. Once it's turned on, it just keeps going and going, but the timer dial never advances. So whether it's on sens sensor dry or time dry, the timer dial doesn't go forward. And this is due to a faulty dryer sensor circuit board that we're going to replace. First we unplugged it for safety and then we're going to be using a Torx 15 driver to remove three Torx 15 screws from the top. Very easy to do. Once those screws are out we can take the whole front console panel and bring it out toward us and that will then expose the dryer sensor board which is really easy to replace. So this is a pretty quick procedure. Bring the console out toward us and this green board here is the one we're going to replace. And it's just got a couple of modular connectors hooked to it. So we get the new part. Here's the new part with new bulbs. And all we have to do is just wiggle out the old board. Just got to pull it up towards you and kind of wiggle it to get it out of position. Then we have to take off the modular connector and there we go, it just wiggles out the old one. So here's the connector. You have to just pry up on this little ledge with a standard head screwdriver. Then you can pull the connector out and then the blue one, just wiggle it off. So those are the two connectors. I already, already loosened them. I'm just gonna push them off. And here's our new circuit board. Just gonna wiggle that into position. It goes right into a couple of slots, super easy. And we've already got the two modular connectors connected to it. And we're gonna now just close up the front of the console and we'll put on those three screws, tighten them down. Pretty much done. There is a moisture sensor inside the dryer that's also really good to clean. Sometimes they get like a waxy coating due to the lint, or I'm sorry, the um, anti-static sheets. And it's good just to clean that off with a little water and a, and a towel or some alcohol or abrasion to get off any waxy residue that might be blocking the moisture sensing. In this case, though, the advance, the timer not advancing was due to a faulty board. So we got it hooked up toward normal dry and we started it up. Here's the old board. Just one of the components probably fried over time. So it did advance, which is good. We know it's working. And here is a wet washcloth. I'm going to use that to wipe off this moisture sensor. This is located inside the dryer near the front on the right hand side. So I'm just going to clean that off really good. And then I'll put it in there and let it dry. And the lights are showing me that it's it's sensing that it's damp and that it's drying it and it is advancing. So this did the trick and now the dryer is back to working great again. Hope this helps you. So thanks so much for watching and please subscribe when you get a chance.